Hi loves, welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Shelby and welcome. So today's video is a first impression slash wear test on the new Maybelline 24 hour full coverage foundation. It looks like this, it's new at the drugstore. So if you wanna see if this holds up with my oily skin, then just keep on watching. So this is what the foundation looks like. It's called the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. And I got the shade Natural Ivory. This looks like it's a pretty good match for me. So on the back, it claims to be a full coverage foundation. You can wear up to 24 hours, a seamless matte finish, breathable and comfortable, fade and transfer resistant oil free, doesn't clog pores, and dermatologist tested. So that is a lot of claims. We're going to put all those claims to the test because I have oily skin, I have larger pores, and we're going to test to see if it's really full coverage because you guys know I love me some full coverage. We're going to test the longevity of it and we'll just see if it's actually like really comfortable on the skin and whatnot. I am looking online right now and it retails for $10 at Walmart and Target and then at Ulta it's $12. So so if you want to save some money, I would recommend getting it at Walmart or Target if you want to test it out. So I'm going to stop babbling on and we're going to actually see how well this foundation performs. So I am going to prime my skin just with like my holy grail primers. So first I'm going in with the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. It's just the green spray of his. And I'm going to spray this all over my face. This is just really nice for hydration. It wakes your skin up a little bit. And I just feel like my face just looks and feels so much better after I use this. And over top of that, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. I absolutely love this primer and I actually stand by it. It's so good. It fills in the pores really nicely. It leaves a nice smooth canvas for your foundation to lay over top of it. And honestly, it's just such a good primer overall. Just rub it in between my fingers just to warm it up a little bit. I hate applying cold products on top of my skin. Hate it. What is this little hair doing? It's chilling. What's it doing? <laughs> so first I focus this in my T-zone and then I drag it outward. And then I do like to pat in my primer after I smooth it all over my face. Just because I feel like it really sinks into the skin and it just gives me a more um, smooth looking face. I don't know if that's just me, but little tip for you guys once again this is the shade natural ivory so it also comes with a pump which is awesome thank you drugstore brands for including pumps now we all appreciate it greatly so i'm just going to give this a nice shake so a little bit comes out of the pump so it's like a really small squirter pump which that's okay so this is the color against my skin tone it looks really nice i hope it matches perfectly um doesn't really have a smell as I can tell right now so I'm just gonna take a few more pumps I don't know how full coverage this is it says it is supposed to be full coverage so we're gonna put that to the test today so I'm just gonna take a few dots it is more of like a thicker consistency I don't know if you guys can see that but it's not very liquidy it's kind of just like staying put on the back of my hand so hopefully this is a good foundation to use a a sponge with because that's what I am going to use today. Okay, so that's the amount I'm going to apply. It's kind of like my usual amount that I apply to my face with foundations. And then I am going to go in with my Black Beauty Blender to blend this out. Um, I don't really like using brushes anymore just because I feel like it makes my foundation look really cakey and just really thick. Let's go in. I'm excited. Okay, so this is half of my face. It is super full coverage, so that claim is 100% correct. You can just see redness, freckles, nothing. So this is a pretty nice color for me. It honestly matches pretty nicely. Um, it didn't really oxidize a lot. It kind of just stayed true to the color, which I really appreciate. 
and it feels really lightweight. Um, it is completely matte. Definitely <laughs> agree with that claim and it just feels really comfortable. So let's blend out this side. So this is how the foundation looks right off the bat. It's very full coverage as you can see. It's very lightweight. It doesn't really have a distinct smell. I'm honestly really impressed right now. I really love the finish of it. I feel like it's going to keep me matte throughout the day for a really long time. But we are going to test that out because I am doing a wear test today. So we're going to see if this is really worth the money and if it's really worth the hype. So I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup off camera just so it's a little quicker. Of course, I will leave all the products that I use down below in the description bar. So if you are interested, you can check there. So I will be right back. So makeup is complete. I just did like a quick everyday makeup look. Nothing too out of the ordinary. So, so far I'm really loving this foundation. It's really matte. It's really comfortable. Everything blended on it beautifully. So I had no trouble with that. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep this foundation on just because it is a little later. Right now it is 2.48, so almost 3 o'clock. So I will try to keep this on as long as I can. Right now, I love it. It looks gorgeous on my skin. It doesn't emphasize any texture. It just looks really pretty for a $10, $12 foundation. I'm really impressed. So I will see you guys in a couple hours. Okay, guys, so it is currently 10.30. So yeah, I am like ready to take this makeup off and go to bed, but I want to finish off this video for you guys. I'm not just going to leave you hanging. So I've had this makeup on for seven and a half hours. This is what the face is looking like. It's really not that bad. Just I'm, I'm only a little bit oily right here in my T-zone, which that's pretty much normal because I have oily skin so I wasn't really surprised by that and usually I get a lot more oily and I'm pleasantly surprised by how much this did not sink into my smile lines. I mean it did a little bit but nothing crazy like some of my other foundations do. I think I love this foundation. I think it's a new drugstore favorite. Does it top my Wet n Wild photo focus? I'm not sure. We may have to put them to the test. Maybe... Battle of the Foundations maybe coming up. But definitely let me know down below if you would like to see that. So yeah, this is what the foundation is looking like. I think it looks really good. There's no nothing really wrong with it. It just looks a little shiny just because of my oils. So I definitely give this foundation two thumbs up. I totally think it's worth it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this first impression slash wear test of the Maybelline 24 hour full coverage foundation. Wow, I sound like a man right now. I am so sorry. But <laughs> this is what happens when it gets late at night. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> but um, definitely give this video two thumbs up if you really enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to join my S squad. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, loves. Thanks.